Um, I'm gonna try this way first. Oh, back oh. where I started. This okay is back, then. That's back where you started. Okay. Oh yeah, because that was the door that was locked on the other side, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, this... This place is so fucked. Dip it? The dip it? Dip it. There's a dip it. Something in the dip it. Can you get in the gym bit? <laughs> if it? <clears throat> okay. I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. Last time anybody saw me was the 2nd of the 16th, 63. Spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl, and a few other guys down at the Cedar Creek. By the time it started to get dark, I was pretty wasted when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt and I kind of got mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Rather, I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep, but when I woke up, this guy was there. A big tall guy. It was really dark, but I could see him staring at me. Old mean eyes, looking right through me. Based on written back, but in America, you savages. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, oh, USA. USA. This is. This is awful. Okay. I think I'm underground. I hear noises above me. It sounds like machines, like factory or something. I might be in the mill. Seen the guy a few times, those damn eyes staring at me. I hear him whispering stuff. I don't know what he's saying. I think he's gonna kill me. It seems rather calm for someone that's gonna kill him. I'm so scared. Um, I wish I could see you again. I wasn't the greatest son, but you always left me. I couldn't have asked for a better mum. Maybe you'd be better off with me. Out me. I don't know. If you ever read this, tell Rusty I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. For acting like a jackass. Same as always. Just know I'm sorry for everything. I love you, Dwight A. Parker. So that's February the sixteenth. Hey, have a look. What's in the gibbet, shall we? Savages. Oh, he's got a lot of gibbets here. It's Doctor! Oh! What the hell are Brilliant these my things? broken psyche. Aww. He's got a little neck trade to them. No police string though. Aww. You could have done the Doctor laugh, but you didn't. Time for your appointment. actually got teeth. Talk to in the gym it. Right, let's read. The Doctor. Herman Carter possessed a brilliant genius and a broken psyche. Despite his swift ascension through the ranks of neuroscience program at Leary's Memorial Institute, Carter's talents were not fully recognised until he applied them beyond the lab. No need to make an appointment, the doctor is always looking for new patients, but be warned, his methods may shock you. <laughs> uh, uh. Half an hour. What can I do about I'm not that tall. Get rude. He's drawing circles and everything everywhere, isn't he? He's got some chains. I mean, for a first nest, it's not bad. The second one had heads and jaws and hands and stuff, so. A 
Nasılsın? Şey... I'm not allowed back for now. Okay, I gotta go back right again. God, I don't remember my way now. I think this way. Alright, we've got ladder, right? That was the only way we could go, right? Because... I'm getting confused. Yeah, okay, this is the only way we can go, that's the dead end. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, up the ladder we go. Wanna frill in darkness and silence. <sighs> Again to the future again. In the house of madness. Your choice. She's my boyfriend's sister. Your mum. Confused. Your choice. I didn't get involved unless it's 50 50, of course. You can vote. It should there be a poll there that you can vote in. So that in maybe new here. You're. Mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Uh-oh. I mean, it's time to get out of this... There's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. What the hell is going on here? Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Stan. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Good evening, Squiddy. How are you doing? Um, hopeful. I gotta try, or don't make me go back. There's a poll you can vote in. It's your choice. If it works, let me know if it's not working. Should work, but that's the thing. I'm doing alright, thank you for asking. Oh, it's lovely to see you. I missed you. Big hugs. Lovely to always see you, Squiddy. Any chance that's true? I, I gotta try. To My friends are well. in terrible danger. I, I gotta get back to them, wherever they are. I'll help you. Why don't you climb back into the uh, chamber, or Do whatever it. it is? I'll see if I can figure out these controls. Keep an eye out for any uh, interruptions. Okay. Uh, is there a switch on that thing? We don't even yeah, know how this it. works. Okay. You should flip it. No worries, I appreciate the alert. I will try to keep you entertained. Don't mind all the DVD puns. While you're working. <laughs> Hopefully I can make work a little better. Oh god, rapid tapping. Rapid tapping. I'm failing. Come around, Dan. 
Oh, yay. Like, you're gonna do it. Alright, we're both gonna do it. <laughs> Pipe. What do I do now? You're really going to get back in that thing. I'm gone. There she goes. Oh God! I've got to try and help him. We can use him as a human meat shield later. Really get back in that thing, goddamn. Eight chains. Oh, God. All paths must cross. Up to 11. 1980. She's gonna be. It's her uh, ex boyfriend. <laughs> oh god. She's gonna be pissed. <laughs> at least she was pissed at him anyway, right? <laughs> oh, I'm Back to the past. Trophy Ann. Thank you for the trophy chat. Holy crap! It actually worked! <gasps> Did any of that actually happen? I gotta find everybody. Alright. Leave the machine shop. Robert! Oh, she calls oh out God. for Robert straight away. You hear that? She calls from Robert straight away. Which way are we going, lady? This way? Is, uh... Is anybody there? No. Please Maybe. say no. <laughs> Please say no. I just said no. Should we go see Clown before we get kicked out of here? Hey buddy! Back again! <laughs> He's such a cutie! He really is! I like that we can visit him. Say goodbye to Clown, everybody. Bye, Mr. Clown. We probably won't see you again. <laughs> we got to see him a lot, though. He's the one that we got to see the most of, really. We got to come back a lot of the time. What are you looking over there, lady? You make me feel like I miss something. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank God. You're never gonna believe what I just saw. It's completely insane. It's... I saw it too. Nearly took my head off. Only got away because of this. Uh, what the fuck is this? Or... It took me to another place. Oh, what the fuck is it? What I see. No, no, I, I wasn't even here, man. It, it took me to like some other place and, and like there were these crazy machines and, and lights but i don't think it was anywhere in the middle at all uh, you what and i know it sounds insane but there was a girl there she said bonnie was her mom man you're not making any sense Chris? Oh no no, I deserve that. Yeah, you do. Chris, Chose? I can choose not to. Oh, I didn't know I that. Know what to say. Not now. We gotta go. Great. Let's get the fuck out of here. How do we get the fuck out of here? There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. <sighs> Oh, it's coming. It's coming. He came. He came. Losing the noose. Well, I've what been evading. It? What do you see? I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well... You know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't? Well, what do we do now? Kinda only got one option, you know? Which is? Get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly possible. What about Linda? Powder! <sighs> Hopefully we'll just run into her along the way. Mm. Do you want to tell me what was going on with that kid? Kid? Girl in the sarcophagus. I don't know much more than you do. She said she knew my mom, but it didn't make any sense. Not much around here does lately. I wish I had more time to talk to her. I just hope she got back to wherever she was trying to go. What? That way or that way? Uh, by this way. Sorry for the ad that's in progress. Doors, 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 doors. Doors. All locked. I'm walking here. What? Why are you like popped up there? You speaking from experience though, magical, or you know? Bit of a weird subject I <laughs> just might have. 
That bed looks pretty tempting right now. Not gonna lie. No. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. You think Augustine lured us in here on purpose? So she could sacrifice one of us? Well, there is one way we could ensure our safety. Gross, dude! Ew! No. Oh. It's the trickster! <laughs> Find the key for the box. Okay. It's that same locket. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What's that? Uh, it's a pendant. There was a picture of it in that book. It explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... Oh, yeah. Well, maybe I should hold on to it. No. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case it actually works? Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. Self-assured finders keepers or indifferent take it? Some of these are nice. It's quite just no it's on my phone. Sure. Fine. Take it. Eight change, Shanga. Still gotta find a key. Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. I'm just gonna read the title. I didn't get to. Huh? History of Lowe's and other hundreds. East Ang England? That's. Histology of East England, History of Lows and Other Hundreds by Dr. John D. Donnerot. Okay. They come from the East England. Hearing meanings. The changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names. Even those that seem patently obvious may be hiding a myriad of other meanings. For example, the East Anglian town named Woodbridge, that historians doubt ever literally had a wooden bridge. That's interesting. Uh, that's not far from me, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, not far from me at all at uh, Woodbridge, so. I've been there, though. Even. No, I lie, I have been there once when I was on a driving lesson. I drove through there, but I've never actually been there. Even if it had such a thing as unlikely it being considered a noteworthy invocation given the town's layout and technology of its older recorded settlements. Oh, there's the key. Hello. Oh god. Now that's not boring. This doesn't look like things. Two streams in a row. It's, it's been three streams in a row, actually. We started on Friday. So, yes, indeed. Um, hello, Desert Python. Uh, blood may be which binds us to this world, for upon spilling of his blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. Why then, if a soul may naturally move from one reality into a higher one by shedding of this blood, should we be surprised to learn such shedding may draw the gaze of a higher reality? We might therefore conclude it's simply the act of taking life, not a passage of our souls that brings these worlds together. 
Oh, it's a locket. The, you know, the keepsake, the locket we found on the side with the guy's picture in it, and he said it was a protective, we read it was like a protective talisman. It, we gave it to him for some reason. <laughs> you guys wanted to give it to him, so yeah, we gave it to him. In doing so, we might form our own gates between this world and the other. Being saved by chance, we move through them. Well, yeah, live. And what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of the ancients, what knowledge we might be in a single sacrifice away. How to return to is another matter. If death is our own. So spilling of blood. She's, they're saying here that spilling of blood might be able to draw the gaze of a higher reality to pull you through different realities? Hmm. Can't turn the page in. Alright. 